This is all looking so stunningly beautiful at the moment. This is the bed in front of the rubbish shed and the tulips are looking spectacular with the hellebores. And then we have the hydrangeas that are coming out with their copper leaves. You see this is a dark leafed hydrangea. Here it looks spectacular with the tulip. Um, but I love how this bed is coming, turning out, is looking fantastic. And then I've made it very nice entranceway for people who come in to purchase eggs. And these tulips, I am so pleased with how these have turned out. They're wonderful with the uh, hookah. Um, this is the copper leafed plant. I think it's called hookah, I could be wrong. And then here, these red tulips are just fantastic today. And then this red tulip is one that I planted. And you can see it's huge. It's like an explosion of tulip red. And some of them are planted in here as well. But the tulips are wonderful. Then this pot of white tulips Look at their yellow insides, are just gorgeous. And these are daisies that will mature and be flowering kind of uh, late July, August, September. But look at the bluebells with the red tulips. I've got to plant more red tulips in there. They look fantastic. And then the um, wisteria is coming out. But then this bed here is lovely. Oh, I'm just so pleased with how this is turning out. So more of those hookah grasses or whatever they're called. And the last of the hellebores coming through. Then um, there's some of these. These are red. When they flower, they're spectacular. And then some succulents some primulas and then look at the magnificence of those tulips and a certain person is posing in front of them of course but the tulips with these lovely smelling uh, tiny daffodils which are new I've not this is the first time I've planted them but then the over here I love these peachy pinky tulips kind of go with this um, um, Japanese maple with its p pinky uh, trimmed leaves and pink trunk. You can kind of see they kind of go well together. And then of course there's the wisteria around my beautiful Turkish gift at the very beginning of all the uh, COVID. I got sent three from a lovely man in Turkey. And then down here, oh, I've got to get out of the light. You can see the grape hyacinths are all coming out. Maya's having a lovely time chewing something. And then the ping of this purple here coming out of here. So it's all, this is my office, shop, etc., and where my guests stay during COVID. And it's really turned out lovely. I am so pleased with how these small bits of the garden and the yard have turned out. It just looks so wonderful. And I keep just loving to do little bits of titivation to it. Like all the bluebells, that will become a mint bed. There's mint in there. And uh, next year I'll know to plant more tulips, of uh, red tulips. I think that wall is pretty good. And then I love these tulips here. So I'll have to think where I'm gonna transplant them for next year. But, and then here again will be more of the king's blood tulips, which I think will look spectacular. But yeah, no, I'm so pleased with how this has all turned out because it's so welcoming to people to come up here in the spring. I mean, it's just, ah, uh, I'm so pleased with how this has all turned out. It just is, oh, it's like something delicious for the eyes, heaven for the eyes. Is that right, Maya? You good girl.
Yeah! Heaven for the eyes. Good for the soul. All those kind of things. Oh, so pleased with how that's turning out. 